Hey YouTubers, Vegas Cycling Freak here. Back again uh, to talk about my completely scratch built amp here called the Octal Fatness. This circuit was designed by David Jones in 2004. And uh, I first heard about this at the DIYStompboxes.com forum. A guy named Doug Hamlin had built it uh, there. And um, I heard some sound clips of it, and I thought to myself, this is a uh, really cool sound amp I need to build it so back when I had my website um, a uh, a uh, fan of the site had sent me this this steel chassis from a cheap solid state amp I don't know it's a fame something or other uh, I can't remember the model number but the uh, it was just a bare chassis nothing on it and I thought hmm Someday I'm going to build something like that, and you know, the octal fatness came along, and I decided, well, I'm going to try to build it inside this little chassis, which is a bit of a challenge because there's a lot of stuff to cram in there. Um, so, what, what this amp is, is a uh, single power tube amp. It has a 6SJ7 pentode on the input. That's a new old stock tube there and a metal can. And then the next tube here in the shield is a 12AX7, which I believe is a uh, phase inverter. And then the other half's doing a, the active tone control, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then the next tube I have here is a, a 6V6. Um, in this particular circuit, you can use anything with the same pinout as that, like a 6L6 or 5881. You can just re-bias it with this bias control here with the uh, screwdriver slot. I, uh, I put a fan in here, a little cooling fan, just because I'm obsessed with putting fans and amps. <laughs> and I have this uh, little 12.6 volt transformer, which I'm using uh, to, um, to create DC power with this uh, little voltage regulator here, just the voltage regulator. And I'm bumping that down, I believe, to 9 volts. Um, and these switches here, I bought them at Radio Shack when they were still around. Um, that's the uh, speaker output jack there. Um, now, because everything was so crammed inside of here, I actually had to come up with some creative solutions like this, uh, this uh, power cord socket. You know, I had to stick it in an angle just because... I didn't have room to do anything else and I wanted to have that kind of socket you know so you could use like any old computer cord or whatever with it just pop it in there and you're good to go now um, as far as the controls I just used I tried to use what was already on the amp so the uh, this tube blaster drive is I I'm if I remember right, that's just the gain. The master is the master control. I think it's like a master volume. Uh, I, had, I haven't seen the schematic for a long time, so I'm going off memory. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. But uh, so I got a three band EQ, treble, mid, and bass. And at a later date, I um, put a digital reverb on the input. Uh, it was the the kit that they had, the belt and reverb kit at uh, generalguitargadgets.com. Um, so I took this this volume control and made it a reverb level, and then I have a bypass switch here. Um, I can turn it off or on, like that's reverb, that's no reverb. And what I did is I... <clears throat> it's a little hard to see, but there's a little metal... Um, black metal box that I created to enclose the circuit in there. Um, that's where the reverb circuit sits. To the left of that is the output transformer and uh, the power transformer here. Um, I bought that off eBay blind not knowing what the specs were on it and it happened to be just perfect for this amp build. So, um, 
At a later time, I'm going to stick up some sound clips of this so you can see what it sounds like. Uh, and some pictures of uh, when I was building it, you know, my progress pictures that were up on my website at one time. Um, I, I went ahead and picked the 6v6 power tube because uh, I liked... Um, the just kind of the greasy sound breakup that the 6v6 has it's a it's a really great little sound amp um, so check back again sometime I'll I'll uh, have this video up in the next few weeks with the sound clips and uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again the next time